Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from May-June 2023, Paper 2, Variant 2. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of AS Physics and also you can have better understanding of these questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. In today's lesson, we are talking about May-June 2023, Paper 2, Variant 2. Total time for this exam is 1 hour and 15 minutes and you need to answer all questions on this paper. Paper. and total mark for this paper is 60 on second page of exam paper important data and some important and basic formulae are given if you need value of any constant or you need any formula you can come to second page of your exam paper question one part a says define pressure and pressure is simply equal to force over area normal to the force so we can define p means the pressure this is equal to force over area normal to the force so very important to mention that area normal to the force area normal to the force so this is how you can define pressure and this question has one mark if you have written this one you will get one b mark i mean this one has to be in your answer for the second part we need to use the answers from a1 to show that si base units of pressure are kgs per meter per second square so simply we can rewrite p is equal to f over a and force f is equal to m a divided by area normal to the surface this is area normal to the surface as a unit for mass we have kgs and for acceleration we have si base unit meter per second square and for area we have meter square now we can simplify this one we can cancel this meter with this power so we left with kgs per meter per second square and this question also has one mark if you have derived this one you will get one mark so this one should be the answer mark part b says a horizontal pipe has length capital l and a circular cross section of radius capital r a liquid of density rho flows through the pipe the mass m of the liquid flowing through the pipe in time t is given by this equation where p1 and p2 are the pressures at the ends of the pipe and k is a constant determine si base units of k is a typical type of question most of the time in exam they will ask you to determine si base units for any quantity and in si base system we have seven si base units and we have seven si base quantities for this question we need to determine units of k so we can make k the subject so we can write on pi and here we p2 minus p1 so simply we can write on here this is the delta p and here we have this is r and here we have rho and here we have t and this is divided by 8 m times l now if we get si base units pi is a constant and it has no units so pi has no units 8 also is a number it also has no units for delta p we have already determined si base units for p si base units for p are kgs per meter per second square so we can write down si base units for pressure and r is a radius and si base unit for radius is meter and the power of this one is 4 so this is meter to the power of 4 density si base units for density are kgs per cubic meter and for time we have seconds and for mass we have m is the mass si base unit is kg and for length si base unit is meter now we just need to simplify first of all in this case you can see we have kg here and we have kg here so kg kg cancel so we left with one kg in numerator so we can write on here we have one kg now we can look at meters so here we have meter and this is four so we left with three here so we have three here and we have three here so these two they will cancel 
each other so we only left m to the power of minus 1 now if you get s we have s to the power of minus 2 and s to the power of 1 so simply we have s to the power of minus 1 so these are si base units for k so simply you need to write down kgs per meter per second uh, simply also you can write down in this form so this is our final answer and this question has three marks the first mark you will get if you have written these individual units individual units so you will get one c mark and other c mark you will also get if you have written the units for density you will get one c mark here as well so you will get two c marks if you have written this part of the question and the last mark is the answer mark if you have got the right answer you will get three marks part c says an experiment is performed to determine the value of k by measuring the values of the other quantities in equation in p the values of l and r each have a percentage uncertainty of two percent state and explain quantitatively which of these two quantities contributes more to the percentage uncertainty in the calculated value of k so we need to determine the percentage uncertainty for k if we rearrange this equation we can simply write down k will be equal to pi p to minus p1 so we can determine delta p and here we have r to the power of 4 here we have rho and here we have t and this one will be divided by 8 times m times l now we can write down how we can determine the percentage uncertainty in k so simply here we can say percentage uncertainty in k this one will be equal to percentage uncertainty in r we can say percentage uncertainty in r but the power of r is 4 so it has to be multiplied by 4 plus percentage uncertainty in delta p percentage uncertainty in delta p plus percentage uncertainty in rho percentage uncertainty in rho plus percentage uncertainty in t means simply we have to add the percentage uncertainties of all these quantities together plus percentage 8 is a number so it should be ignored when we calculate percentage uncertainty so we have to add percentage uncertainty in m plus percentage uncertainty in l so if we have these percentage uncertainties simply we need to add all these percentage uncertainties together when we need to calculate percentage uncertainty for a quantity like k because other quantities they are divided and multiplied so the percentage uncertainties have to be added but for this question we only have percentage uncertainty for r and we have percentage uncertainty for l so here we can write on here 4 and percentage uncertainty in r is 2 percent plus now i will be just writing this one because we don't have percentage uncertainties for these quantities plus we have percentage uncertainty in l l has no power so this is percentage uncertainty in l is simply 2 percent so this is 2% for L and rest of these means this one plus this one plus this plus this as it is we can write on so simply here we don't have percentage uncertainties for them so if we have we can simply plug in these four percentage uncertainties here to calculate the percentage uncertainty in K so simply we need to compare which one is contributing more to the percentage uncertainty of K so in this case R is contributing more so R is contributing more because this one is 8% so R is contributing 8% and L is contributing only 2% so this is R and this one is L so simply we can say R contributes so we can write on here R contributes 8% 8% so we can write on here four times 2% so this is 8% and L contributes only 2% and L contributes 2%
so r contributes more so r contributes more to the percentage uncertainty contributes more than l so this is how you can write down your answer and this question has only one mark if you have written this and you have explained you will get the one mark and that is the answer mark